Hey everyone, welcome back. This is a quick PSA video for those of you farming Steel Path Circuit for all your new Incarnon Genesis adapters. Whichever weapon you pick, whatever game mode you're in, this will be useful for you. I'm sure many of you thought of picking frames with exalted weapons whenever they pop up, since it lets you skip having to rely on ammo or worrying about weapon options and builds being good. You probably also noticed that your exalted weapon doesn't seem to deal the damage you expect or has the wrong elements. This is due to how DE has set exalted configs to work in Duviri. It's the best place for exalted weapons to shine, and you'll notice that actually, all of them are viable, even on Steel Path. You just need to make sure the builds are right. Yes, I'm looking at you, Hildren. The Balefire scales multiplicatively with range, and multiplies again with Prime Fulmination with zero, yes, zero percent falloff. Pillage already full strip, so just go all out on range on an Undercroft Hildren setup. Anyways, I trust you're able to build the other more common exalted weapons properly, and don't need guides. Let's get into the thick of the video. Warframes have config slots. You can pick the config slot you want with F when you're in Teshin's cave, such as Wukong's config with Terrify here. If you put Terrify or Pillage on an exalted weapon, a Warframe, your damage will scale infinitely. You get enough energy efficiency decrease from just playing circuit that by the times the enemies pose a threat, you no longer have energy issues. Let's say I pick the Terrify config in slot C. What happens to my Iron Staff in mission? I have heat damage and it seems to be modded on? This doesn't seem to be auto modding, is it? I have actual good damage in crits, so what's going on? Let's look at my Iron Staff configs. I also have three configs here. Config A is unmodded. Config B has viral damage, but I was doing heat even at the start. What about config C? That's gas. Ah yes, this one has heat, and can get gas with wall latch, but I didn't know I had this config active. So what seems to happen is that your Warframe will use the same config slot for both the frame build and exalted weapon build. You use config C for Wukong, you get exalted weapon config C. But what happens if that doesn't exist? What if I use config F on Ivara? What happens to my Artemis bow? Bad news, you get an unmodded Artemis bow if you don't have a config F for it. So, to make your lives easier, figure out in advance which configs you want to use in Steel Path Circuit on your Warframes that have exalted weapons. Set your exalted weapon config to match that. If I want to use Ivara's F config, then I need to set my preferred Artemis bow config to F. If I don't even have an F config for her bow because, well, I don't want to buy slots, then you can instead move the Warframe config. Let's say I want to use Artemis Bow Config C, then I could also just move my Ivara build of choice to Config C. That's it. Hopefully this helps you grind out your Steel Path circuit more smoothly. Cheers! If this is your first time watching, feel free to leave like or better yet subscribe. Let me know your thoughts down in the comments. 79.5% of you are not subscribed. I'm trying my best to get you new information out always as soon as possible like I've done with the Duviri's update. Stick around if you want to see interesting memes and builds on a nearly daily basis. Don't want to miss out on any of that, do you? That'll be it for this video. Thank you all for watching and see you all next time.